In this video, you will learn how to add and edit widgets to customize your dashboard. Begin by clicking the orange Edit Widgets button on the top right of your screen. This will activate the red Add Widgets button. Click to open a drop down list of available widgets. Select the widgets you would like to add. For detailed descriptions of the widgets, please refer to the Armor Manual on the Navigation menu. Some widgets have a settings wheel in the upper right hand corner. This allows you to further customize the data that is being presented. Select Armor Action and the time frame during which you want the widget to display. Depending on the Armor Action, other functions such as assigning cost might be available. To rearrange the widgets on your dashboard, click, hold, and drag until you are satisfied with the layout. Click the yellow Save Widgets button in the upper right corner to confirm your changes. In this video, you will learn how to set a pre-configured auto-download rule in Autopilot. REI has pre-configured three of the most common rules that you may customize for your needs. To begin, click on the white Auto-Download Rules button on the top right of your screen. This will open the Auto-Download Rules box. Check the boxes next to the rules you want to apply. They include event marker presses for when the driver wants to set a flag for review, a vehicle going over a certain speed limit, and a vehicle exceeding certain g-forces, which include hard braking, turns, or excessive acceleration. Enter your custom thresholds and click the Save button. Your auto-download rules will now be applied and will automatically be downloaded in Autopilot. In this video, you will learn how to manually request a download in Autopilot. First, click on the orange Manual Request button on the top right. Select the vehicle from the drop-down list. The calendar will load in green each day that video is available from the selected bus. To download the video, click on the desired calendar day. The time bar will show when the video is available from that day. Manually enter a start and end time or select from the drop-down box. Add an optional memo about why you are downloading the video. If you want to review and discuss an armor driver, attach a driver review and set the severity. Click Submit and the request will be added into the queue. In this video, you will learn about many filters and buttons available in Autopilot. Several filters make finding a video very simple. The first three are colored at the top of the screen. Ready sorts all your videos that have been downloaded and are ready to view. Unwatched are downloaded videos that have not yet been viewed. They are also bolded on the list for easy identification. Flagged videos are those that are marked due to their utmost importance. We also make several filters available, such as vehicle number, driver, group, etc. There are also action buttons to go along with each video. Share lets you share a video with someone in your organization who has restricted privileges. You may also share a link with someone inside or outside your organization and designate the number of days the link will be active. A certain number of views may also be set before the link expires. Download allows you to save the video into a proprietary file that may be played back in REI's VMS software. Lock prevents a video from being deleted by graying out the delete icon. It also ensures that it's not overwritten if server space is needed. The flag icon sorts video that is of utmost importance. File history lets you see who requested video and who has viewed a video. And delete removes a video from your server. The green play icon launches the video in your web browser. In this video, you will learn how to check your system's health status in Diagnostics. Each vehicle will have a green icon meaning healthy, a yellow icon for warning, or a red icon for severe. Choose a vehicle from the list, or use the filters at the top to drill down for more details. Once a vehicle is selected, a vehicle log will be displayed below, with any faults in their severity. Once an issue is acknowledged or addressed, click the X under Dismiss to return the vehicle to a healthy status. In this video, you will learn about the Settings button in Diagnostics. 
Click on the Settings button on the top right of your screen. Clicking it opens the Settings window. The Columns tab will be displayed by default. Select or deselect columns you want to be displayed and be able to filter. The Alerts tab lets you choose the severity of equipment faults. Set each to Info for a non-serious notification, warning for an issue that needs to be addressed, or error for an issue that needs immediate attention. Click Done to save changes. In this video, you will learn how to use the search function in Insight. With the route loaded, click the search button on the right side of the screen. It'll open the search window. Select any number of input triggers, events such as idling, panic button presses, program G1939 events, speeding, G-force thresholds, or geofences. Click Submit to view results with time and date stamps. These can also be exported into Excel or a PDF document. They are also plotted on the route map. In this video, you will learn how to set auto review rules in Driver. Click on the white auto review rules button on the top right and a window will pop up. Check the rules you want to apply and add your own parameters and severity. Select Save to implement them. To set up custom rules, view the How to Set Up an Armor Action video. In this video, you will learn how to view and weight driver review points. From the drop down menus on the top left, select All Drivers or select an individual driver. Also, select the time frame you want to view. You can filter by letter rankings or select your driver below. A graph will populate with your selected driver's review points. The green line is the average between all of your drivers. The blue line is the selected driver's average over the selected time frame. Hover over any points to see how many points were accumulated on a given day. To weight an infraction, click on the settings wheel above the graph. This lets you weight caution, warning, and severe infractions to your specific needs. Hit save to apply. In this video, you will learn how to view, add, and dismiss driver review points. Once a driver is selected, his or her different infractions will populate below. Clicking on a specific infraction will bring up all the date and timestamps associated with the infraction. An Excel or PDF file can be exported to keep further record of these. To add driver review points to their report card, click on the green check mark above. To dismiss, click the red no symbol. In this video, you will learn how to set up an armor action or a customized auto download rule. From the administration tab, select armor actions. All of your rules will be displayed. You can edit, delete, or select the new action button. First, name your rule. Then select if you want it to apply to all your vehicles or drivers, a specific group of vehicles, or a single video or driver. Next, select whether you want to look for specific triggers like inputs and speed or event searches that have to do with equipment faults. Select all available triggers you want to apply to the rule. These include any sensor harness inputs, speed or acceleration thresholds, J1939 engine events, idling, camera motion, panic button presses, ABS events, geofences, or time restrictions. Select next to set your download parameters. Add pre and post video padding to see what happened before and after an event. Create a driver review to be added to the driver's report card. Create a log file in Diagnostics. Also, get notifications through the Armor Suite or by email when a specific event occurs. Set up customized reports for any users in your organization to get daily reports. Select Save to apply your new rule. In this video, you will learn how to set up a new user in Armor. Click on the Administration tab on the top right and click on Users. Click the Settings wheel next to the users to edit their profiles or select New User 
to create a new login. Type the username and email address of the new login. Select whether you want them to have administration rights, which includes access to all of Armour's features, including making changes to administration, or choose user if you want to allow limited access. Simply select modules to allow access. A user will not have access to the administration tab to make changes. Select submit and an email will be sent to activate the login.